Hi guys, so today I'm going to be trying out the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. So this is by Sunny Isle and um, I'm going to read what it says it does. Stimulates hair growth, stimulates eyebrow and eyelash hair growth, thinning hair, bald spots, dry brutal, damaged hair, breakage, dry itchy scalp, psoriasis, dandruff, and arthritic pain. That's so interesting. Hmm. Very, very interesting so I don't I think the last time I would have ever used like pure black castor oil Jamaican black castor oil would have been or just black castor oil in general would have been as a kid <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my great-grandmother who was like the hair master like the healthy hair master um, would have probably put it on my hair at least you know a couple of times and she was like you know that person who's like as long as your hair is healthy like your hair has to be healthy every two weeks you you know shampoo conditioning hair blah, blah blah and you make sure it's healthy and she was like one of those people that's like don't put all that junk in your hair you know and I always think of her like when I do my hair because growing up she was the one who did, did my hair she would um, you know wash it condition it braid it and then when it was dry she would hot comb run the hot comb through it on the stove oh my like ah, so much memories and um you know she had four daughters and she had uh two granddaughters and two great granddaughters and so she was just like the hair master <laughs> like knew how to take care of your hair how to make your hair healthy and blah 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 she was like all about like you know taking care of your hair so anyway I got this to try out because you know um with the whole like you should moisturize and seal your hair like that's uh, something I had a problem with before so I wasn't making sure my hair was moisturized you know I just got super lazy with my routine and my um, regimen so I decided you know times are gonna change so I decided you know I'm just gonna change things up this year and I'm going to you know you know really do my hair like I'm supposed to do it <laughs> And um, the only oil I've ever used, like besides when I was a kid, was um, since being natural, was olive oil. And if I used too much of that, my hair would get like all like straw, like hay, like gross. And um, but if I use a little bit, it's good. And I use olive oil, but not like purely by itself when it was, you know, with like inside something else or what have you. And I have used, um, actually just remembered, I did use, but not the oil purely by itself, it was like in a product, you know what I mean? So yeah, I got this at um, Rite Aid, and it was $8.99, but I thought it said $6.99, I don't know. So I'm going to open it, of course I have to. Okay, that does not smell bueno. Um, so yesterday I did my whole wash day routine, okay, the whole shebang. And so it's just, you know, I put my hair in these twists. And I've been wearing my hair out recently, but I want to give it a break and just leave it in the twist. So hopefully, cross that little baby fingers, I will be able to do that. Um... So when I apply the oil, what I'm going to do is just like, you know, go, I'm not taking, <laughs> look, look, okay, I'm not taking down these twists, no, 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 mm -mm. because it took me forever to put the twist in, like, you know, combing my hair out, no, I'm not, no, 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 no. So the next time I, you know, wash my hair and everything, I'm just going to make sure, you know, because now I have the oil, so I'll put it on. And then, like, I'll figure out, like, how much of it I need and do I need to do it every time I wash my hair. I'm just going to show you, like, some other products that I bought really fast just because I want to. I got the My Oil Organics Moisturizing Avocado Hair Milk. Um, and it smells good. It's, like, a light fragrance. It's good. And, um... <laughs> I was reading their story and I just thought this was funny. It says, My L Organics was funded and created by a registered nurse who desired to share her journey of reaching tailbone length. Okay, tailbone length. 
that smells just like okay <laughs> but um yes i used this yesterday and then i'm turning into like a product junkie like usually i would say i finish a product before i buy another one but like this is so much i want to try um i got the curls creme brulee whipped curl cream this smells so good i just like it smells just all day my aunt used to use this for my little cousin i remember i used to smell his hair like oh my god <laughs> his hair used to smell so good and he used to have like a little curly hair going his hair used to be so cute okay so back to the subject at hand i'm just gonna put some on my hand and then put it on the twist if you guys have used jamaican black castor oil please let me know what your experience was and what you thought about it and thank you to all my subscribers i know i got some subscribers so gracias and i just put a little bit oh, it feels interesting and then just maybe i need more than that you gotta be careful with these oils because um you know sometimes you could do team too much Ooh, it's pretty thick i'm pouring it in the cap pretty thick it almost reminds me of honey <laughs> how thick it is whoa i've been watching um afro hair addictions oh my god he's so funny i used to watch him like a few years ago but i just never subscribed i don't know that's like so weird but i'm like ah, oh, i'm subscribed now so i've been like catching up on all his videos and he's using this he's using or he's using jamaican black pasture oil and i'm like putting too much <laughs> And like I'm seeing now, I'm seeing how thick this is. Oh my gosh, I couldn't put that much on my hair. But yeah, I'm trying to do the whole um, moisturize and seal LCO method because I have low porosity hair. So you want to seal with an oil, but even like in general, I think even if like it makes sense to me to seal with an oil instead of with like a cream because the lock method is a liquid and oil and then a cream i just i just think that's a little weird to me so yeah i'm not doing anything special i'm just going to you know just take the strand put some on my finger and then run it down and that's it and um i'll do that until i get to the end oh my gosh you know what i could have just done like just poured it in my hand and then just go like this right it's the same essentially the same thing but it's okay i'll take my time with my hair and i want to make sure i have like the ends but like i said next time i wash my hair i'm not gonna do it this way i'll do it like with everything it's just you know i want to use this <laughs> i want to try it out oh and i should put it on my scalp too right because he says that you can put it on your scalp oh, my hair's gonna be so greasy <laughs> I remember growing up, my you know my grandmother would grease my scalp, and like when she would prepare it for that, um, when she was flat ironing my hair, flat ironing, please. When she was hot combing my hair, it would be so greasy. Like <laughs> that was like the original heat protectant, right? The grease. <laughs> oh my gosh! But then it would absorb, obviously. Oh, I miss my grandmother, my great grandmother. I mean, she was awesome. Okay, so yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit here and listen to Selena, and that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll come, maybe I'll come back when everything is all said and done. If not, I hope you have a beautiful blessed day and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking and commenting bye